Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today I will be doing an oil painting demonstration. First I tone my canvas, then I pick out all the hairs from the mop brush, which is kind of annoying. Then I did my sketch and I am locking in at this stage. Just filling in all of the color. It doesn't really have to be perfect, it just goes in and it, it goes in so quickly it, it does look like the ugly stage. And it's a little scary at this point but you just have to have faith that it's gonna to come together. So as I'm putting down the color, I'm also blending it. I like to use the mop brush because it helps to blend the oils very smoothly so you don't see a lot of the brush strokes. Now I'm going back over it and I'm adding more lights and more darks, which is something I do periodically throughout the whole painting. Now I'm going to be doing some nose detail here, adding some highlights to the nostrils, putting in more darks and then more highlights with the nose. More darks around the outside so that his nose comes more forward. And then I had put the background in, but I did not film that. Unfortunately, my camera was shuts off because it's just a small Sony camera and it doesn't have a lot of battery life, so. But now I'm doing the eyes, and the eyes, of course, are not white. They're a dark gray, especially because it's in shadow. And here I wasn't quite satisfied with the level of depth, so I added more white into my paint to make the nose come forward more and then I glazed over with a, an orange color and now I'm just adding more details more white to the uh, stripe and the reason why it went white on top here is because I was still unsatisfied with the level of depth and I decided that I needed to do more glazing in order to do more glazing I had to reset the baseline tonal value there so that the whites were whiter or the lights were lighter and then I glazed over them in various colors so that he had more of a reddish orange glow to him. I added some orange to the top of the head so it looked like the light was hitting him there and then I went back through and started working on more of the detail work which is the final stage. Working on the nose area, the muzzle, with his whiskers, and then adding more contrast and more texture to the sofa that he was resting on. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and feel free to subscribe.